In this video, I want to show you how I set up my Merch by Amazon ads for a trendy niche. Hello everyone, my name is Mike. I'm a full-time print-on-demand seller. I make YouTube videos showing you how to make more money on Merch by Amazon and Etsy. If you like this kind of content and you get any value out of this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, click the bell, and like the video. Now, before I share with you my ad strategy for trending niches, I just want to do a quick sales update because I'm actually having a pretty good day. So it's currently uh, 5.41 p.m. and I'm at 26 sales, but I have $65 in royalties. I took your guys' advice. A lot of people were saying, hey man, you need to raise your prices, and I've been doing that. And we can see that it has been working. Um, yesterday I did 37 sales, did 66 bucks, but today uh, 26 sales, $65, and it's still early. That is going to put me at $409 for the month. If you want to follow me on Instagram, where I post my daily sales for both uh, Merch by Amazon and Etsy, link is in the description. I also post like gym picks, entrepreneur picks, just like my life down here in Mexico. I'm born and raised in Mill Valley, California, but I've been living in beautiful Puerto Vallarta, Mexico for the past 18 years. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the content of the video. So yesterday, I actually made a video right here. This one is called Zero Comp or This niche has almost zero competition. It's a niche that I found about Match Day. You can go ahead and watch it. Match Day is coming up next month on uh, March 15th. It has to do with like um, medical students that are going to be finding out where the residency is going to be and in what field. Um, and so what I did is I actually went ahead and uploaded a bunch of designs. So here are all my designs right here. I need to find them. So I made this design right here and I basically um, scaled the design to all the different types of um, fields like internal medicine, family medicine, uh, radiology, psychiatry. You know, I did about nine or ten designs and when I make a design I'm never just gonna make like one design you know usually I'm gonna try to make as many as possible five ten and then I will take those let's say ten designs and I will always design for both uh, black and white that's a good pro tip right there uh, because there's a market for both the majority of people are just designing for uh, black shirts but there's also a market for white shirts so I would recommend that you design for both um, and so I went ahead and I upload all these and now I want to make a campaign I want to run ads for these now, this probably, you know, this niche doesn't have the most competition. So, you know, um, I mean, maybe it has more now because I, I made the video. But, you know, if I hadn't made the video, I don't know if I even would have run an ad for this campaign. But since there's a little more competition, um, I want to run some ads for it. And so let me just show you my process. So what I will do is I will go to um, my Merch by Amazon dashboard and I will click on products right here but you have to have the productor extension so the productor extension is right here I highly recommend it um, it allows you some really nice tools and one of them is this one right here where you can click on this tab and it will take you to this page right here and you can basically um, filter out a whole bunch of details uh, for your Merch by Amazon uh, designs and so what I did is I just filtered by um, match day and I got all the designs and right here we're going to see that I have 153 and so I want to take those and I want to run ads on them. I'm going to run a lottery campaign. So what I will do is I will come up here and I will just select all of them and then I will come up to this uh, tab right here that says export selected. Now I have a um, an extension on my browser for dark mode because my eyes get kind of uh, sore if I stare at a white screen all day. So you're not going to be able to see it but if you hover over right here I think it says what Amazon I can't read it but basically you just want to export the ASINs or the ASI numbers in a CSV. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on that and it's going to download and then I just want to open it up uh, once it has uh, downloaded I might have to pause the video because it's taking a long time. Okay, so the uh, the file has opened up. And what you want to do here, or what I like to do, is I like to just go ahead and copy all of these. Because what we're going to do is we're going to upload a spreadsheet into Amazon Ads. But for some reason, it won't take this type of spreadsheet, so I have to make a new one. So I'm just basically going to select all these, copy these, and I'm going to make a new spreadsheet. So I'm just going to hit um, Command-N on a Mac. And I'm going to hit Create. And then I'm going to click on this top one, 1A, it has to be that one, and just hit Command V, and it should paste all of them. Then once once I have all of them, let me just double check that it should be it should be around 153, I think was the amount. So yes, that looks right. And I'm going to come up here to File, and I'm going to export this as a CSV file. And I'm just going to uh, save it or name it as Match Day, just so I remember what the heck it is. So Match Day. 2024 and sometimes I'll even put ASIN just to double check unless I have a lot of uh, files and I'm going to save this in my downloads and I'm going to hit export. 
Okay, so now we got the file. Now what I want to do is I want to go to advertising. So I'm going to go back to my Amazon Merch On Demand, um, what's it called, dashboard, and I'm going to click on advertising. And while that loads, I'm going to take a quick sip of coffee. And let's see what pops up here. Okay, so once you click on advertise, it's going to take you to this page right here. And I only advertise in the United States. I don't mess with any of these other platforms because honestly, I don't really even have that many designs on those platforms. So I just click right here on advertise on Amazon.com. And I apologize for the wait because my internet isn't always the fastest. But once it loads, I think it's going to ask us if we want to do sponsored products or brands. Um, oh, whoops. Actually, it takes me right to my Amazon Ads dashboard. And what I want to do is I want to create a campaign. So I'm going to, let me just move this out the way so you guys can see it. So create a campaign. Here you can see my stats for, I don't know what that was for the month or maybe all time. <clears throat> So yeah, so right here you can either choose sponsored products or sponsored brands. I'm going to click on sponsored products. Okay, so let me just get this out the way so it stops bothering us here. All right, so right here for ad group name, I'm just going to do uh, match day. So I just like to do the name of the niche that I'm advertising in or the, the type of design. So match day 2024. And I'm going to come here to where it says products. I'm going to upload. And then right here, I'm going to click uh, right here where it says drag and drop field to add. That should pull up my finder. And I'm going to go to downloads. And I'm going to go to match day ASIN right here. And what that is going to do, that is going to upload all those designs that I got from uh, Productor, which was right, I think, here. It's going to upload all these designs. And go back to... Uh, the advertise page and then it should say so it's not always a hundred percent you can see we missed three but no big deal I'm not gonna sweat it uh, but you just want to kind of double check that I got the majority of them and then right here we're going to go to targeting now usually I always do automatic targeting now first I just want to say like I'm not a guru when it comes to Amazon ads this is just what I've been doing um, I haven't even tested I've never even run a manual a targeting ad, so I don't even really know how to do that. I've just always done automatic targeting because it's just a little easier. Um, but it, my ads are very simple for, for the most part. For the most part, I'll just usually do like half of what it is saying for the bid and half what it's saying for the daily budget. That's what I was doing in Q4. And in Q4, I actually did really well with my ads. But January, February, honestly, my ads have not been doing that well. Um, so I've been actually going a little bit lower. So for my default bid, especially since this doesn't have too much competition I would go usually I would do 33 percent but now I would go maybe 11 cents or 22 cents all right and then after I've typed that in I don't mess around with any negative keyword targeting or any negative product targeting but this is really important right here is the campaign bidding strategy it has it defaulted to dynamic bids up and down every time I've done this I've spent way too much money and the campaign has not or the ad campaign has not done that well so I always do dynamic bids down only and right here it's going to say we'll lower your bids in real time when your ad may be less likely to convert a sale so it's basically going to not blow a whole bunch of money when you're probably not going to be getting any sales so I always do dynamic bids down only very important and then right here, I'm just going to go ahead and name it the same, Match Day 2024. And I'm going to run this. Now, you know, this isn't an evergreen niche. I mean, once we get to Match Day, which is March 15th, you know, there's probably not going to be any more sales. So there's going to be no need to run it anymore. So I'm just going to go to March 15th, which is right here. Um, and then the daily budget. So like I said, usually I would do about half of what it suggests. I usually it's, it's, it's recommending 10. So I would usually do five. But since ads have been doing that great for me, maybe it's just the time of the year. Someone actually commented, commented that on one of my videos. That's just time of the year and that I should probably do uh, manual versus automatic. Um, but right here, usually what I will do this time of year, I'll do like three bucks or even two bucks. And then that is basically it. But before I launch the campaign, I just want to double check everything just to make sure that I haven't made a mistake. So I check the ad name. I check I have all the listings. You can see them all right here in both the white and the black. 
and I'm not just doing t-shirts I'm doing all the different products because um, you know people will buy like sweaters hoodies uh, tank tops make sure the targeting is correct automatic suggested bid 22 cents down only um, it will end on March 15th and then a daily budget of three dollars okay so everything looks good and I will just go ahead and hit launch campaign so let's let's launch it and I'm thinking if this campaign does well or even if it does does bad I mean I'll go ahead and I can do like a recap or a review to show you how this uh, cam cam campaign uh, went maybe it's going to be a total flop maybe it will get me some sales I'm probably gonna have to bump the prices up a little bit to maybe like 17.99 or 19.99 once they start to get some sales but you can see here this is pretty much just how I do it. it's very simple it's just um, you know automatic targeting I'm, I'm bidding down down only and I'm doing a small bid and a small daily budget and I do a lottery campaign I, I will never just do an advertise a campaign for just one shirt I want to get like you know I like I said five ten maybe even like 20 designs for the campaign all right so that is basically it um, if you have questions drop them below if you're struggling to get sales on merch by Amazon um, make sure to go ahead and check out the first link in the description I will show you how I get sales like I showed you in the beginning of the video I can't find the tab um, but I can show you how I get sales like that on a daily basis it's really good for like beginners or for people that are struggling to get sales um, on merch by Amazon so if you're interested check it out if not it's all good um, if you like this kind of content make sure to comment like and subscribe and that is going to be it for today's video thanks so much everybody for watching that video from yesterday um, it looks like it actually is doing pretty well I don't really get this many views um, 741 so that's very cool to see so thanks everybody for the support um, and also if you have any like questions if you want to like, contact me directly you can send me a message on Instagram I check it every day and I will usually respond to your message personally um, within like 24 hours. All right. So comment below what you think about my strategy and I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.